Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. This is Bon, your Orchid Wanderer, and for today's video, we are going to talk about Air Raid Mix, and I am also going to share with you how do I do my own personal Air Raid Mix, which, you know, I, I really um, use uh, to most of my Air Raids and other plants as well. Um, okay, so let's talk about uh, Air Raids in general. So aeroids are um, plants that love to cling on tree branches. Um, they go trailing downwards or upwards, and they don't really, you know, um, produce root system that will be buried three feet below the ground. What they do is that they only anchor themselves. They will produce root system to anchor the, themselves into the soil. In the forest soil and then they will go find a tree to cling on and then they go upwards and the way they go out uh, upwards is that they produce um, aerial root system uh, wherein they um, they use that those aerial roots to cling on trees to hug trees uh, as a support uh, for stability and also aerial roots um, in the other hand also help the plant or aeroids to um, nourish, nourish itself um, aeroids are like you know orchids that's why I really love them because I really love orchids and orchids and aeroids are very somewhat you know um, relative to each other Okay, so um, yeah, um, let's talk about the material that I use uh, here for my aerial mix. So here in the Philippines, you know, the materials that we can use is, you know, can vary uh, depending on what material are available in our area. So here in the Philippines, uh, it's very, it's very common to have um, because <laughs> we're an island. So it's very common to have coconuts. So I use coconut husk. Sometimes I use cocoa uh, cubes, but it really depends, as I mentioned earlier, uh, on what's available. So yeah, right now what's available here is cocoa fiber and some acacia leaves. I also use um, styrofoam. This <laughs> material right here, um, they call it pine nuts in states. But this is uh, actually um, the material you find when you receive a parcel from a moving company like LBC here, for example, in the Philippines. Um, yeah, um, I just, you know, um, crush it to create a little um, styrofoam tidbits. And I also have acacia leaves. This is actually uh, can help aerate your soil and can provide good drainage as well so these are um, the aerating materials for my um, aeroid mix so um, styrofoam um, cocoa fiber and acacia leaves that's my aerating material so when it comes to okay let's go ahead here with fertilizer and actually um, you, in, uh, you know added uh, moisture or humidity I also use um, aside from you know aerating material which is which are cocoa fiber cocoa cubes or you know whatever uh, maybe you know some some materials that could add aeration uh, aside from that I also put some vermicast or vermicompost this can provide um, uh, as a good amount of fertilizer for your aeroids and can also provide a good amount as well of humidity. Okay, so let's talk about this one. This is, of course, everyone knows about this one. This is charcoal. So here in the Philippines, we can buy it to um, from 10 pesos to 25 pesos um, but this is not the charcoal that we use for uh, this is a different charcoal 
because uh, from what I know in the in the in the US or in in the other countries in other countries um, they have chemicals on their charcoal that they are you know that they use to 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 have during their barbecue time or barbecue party so um, it has chemical added um, if you're going to to buy charcoal from Ace Hardware to you know to, to keep or to to keep the charcoal um, burning last for barbecue party so here in the Philippines it's purely natural you can buy it to sari sari stores and it doesn't have any chemicals on it added so you can also buy charcoal in your garden center you can also ask for horticultural um, charcoal uh, a charcoal with no chemical added so charcoal can be a good material in preventing uh, fungal infection inside your pot like you know your nasty <laughs> mushrooms yeah sometimes some people and even I myself uh, sometimes I experience mushroom growths inside my inside and outside my pot and that's really yeah very irritating and it looks nasty <laughs> however um, when you add a good amount of charcoal in your um, aeroids mix it's a guarantee I don't know if if, if there's um, uh, a, uh, an educational proof or science proof about charcoal preventing um, you know fungus or other kind of nasty mushroom growing in a potting soil or a potting mix I don't know I'm not sure but uh, when I started using charcoal uh, in my orchids and also my aeroids maybe uh, five years ago I started using charcoal I eliminate those mushrooms and fungus growing inside my my pot so it's very good I hope you give it a try guys so here is my pre-made aeroid mix so I used to ha to have my pre-made mix in bulk like a lot of it so I don't have to make an individual um, aeroid mix every time that I am going to repot a new plant so let's move on and try to repot the syngonium in front of us all right so um, what I'd like to do first is to put some pieces of aerating um, material in my pot first at the bottom okay for example we put um, charcoal first uh, first at the bottom because it can help aerate aerate the uh, media and it can help it can prevent the root system from you know um, being buried deep down and you know prevent rotting so uh, that's what I do I elevate the root system from the bottom of the pot and in that way we can also provide added um, <clears throat> aeration so um, aeration material first charcoal or your pine nuts or styrofoam bits and then after that we can put our plant like that and we can start filling the pot okay. all right so that's it but what we need to always remember when we're potting um, aeroids is that we don't want them being really buried deep down in the pot. They, um, for example, this part right here of the plant, this is where the new growth will come out. So we really don't want this part of the plant being buried deep down inside the pot because the you know uh, in that way we are just um, increasing um, failure 
in our repotting um, project. And it can also, um, you know, add chances of rotting and infection in our plant. So, yeah, I guess that will be all. Um, but before that, um, I'd like to share with you guys my um, philodendron gloriosum, which I repotted last night. Let me just bring it closer to them so this is my um philodendron gloriosum i just repotted them um last night so i do have i guess four individual plant in there in that big pot and uh, initially they are potted individually in this type of small um, plastic pot or garden pot but now i decided to you know create or I decided to be more artistic <laughs> yeah um, I tried to um, to venture <laughs> my new talent <laughs> being artistic yeah <laughs> I don't know if it's artistic enough for you guys but I think it's perfect it, it does look perfect for me yeah so um, as you can see here same um, composition of material that I use in my aeroid mix I use some cocoa fiber some charcoal bits here some um, vermi compost and some styrofoam bits all right so what we should always remember when it comes to aeroids don't put them in a wet soggy pot don't bury them deep down in the pot always make sure that the soil mix that we're using is fast draining and can you know and we use you know materials that can still hold some moisture all right so thank you so much guys for watching if you do have some other questions suggestions you can you know drop down a comment below and yeah don't forget to, to like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much have a great day bye bye